Now for a Team 10 investigation, kids dodging cars just to get to and from school, and it's a safety problem. Parents say that's an everyday occurrence in front of one Bay, uh, Bay Park school. Investigator Adam Rakuzin looks at the changes they're demanding before anyone else gets hurt. At 3.30, the end of day bell rings at Longfellow Elementary School. Kids and parents scatter from school grounds. Over 800 kids walking onto this campus. With our big television camera around, drivers are on their best behavior. But parents say on most days, the traffic around this school is a nightmare. We literally have had parents that have had to jump back from cars or stop cars, stop cars from hitting children that they're not paying attention to. Jen Ragusa is one of those parents whose kids are constantly dodging cars. This car stopped for us, but often cars do not stop for our kids. They just come right through or they'll creep up on the kids as they're coming through. Jen says she started to raise the red flag about traffic safety issues back in 2012. She tells me she asked for more crosswalks and safety zones around the school. All of that was at that time declined by the city. They decided that it was not necessary. Fast forward to June of this year. One of our mothers was killed in the crosswalk. She was walking across on the last day of school. Jen says her friend Jennifer Jones was crossing the street to pick her kids up from school when she was hit by a truck. She died a few days later from her injuries. She was an amazing member of our Bay Park and Claremont communities. With the new school year already a month in, some safety changes were made, but not enough to satisfy parents trying to protect their kids. I think the area is dangerous. Okay, in a statement, a spokesperson for the city did say in part city staff have listened and continue to respond to the community's concerns. In addition to the improvements already implemented, city traffic engineers are evaluating possible traffic calming measures. He did send a list of improvements that we're going to bring up for you on the screen right here made since June. We believe that's after the deadly crash. Things like new school signs and converting the existing crosswalks into a continental ladder style crosswalk. They also sent a list of improvements that they are evaluating things like marked crosswalks under all the way stop even a traffic signal that could be coming in the next few months. Adam Rakusen, Team 10. Thanks.